Hey guys, and welcome back for another lesson today. We're looking at simple interest. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Miss Danielson, and I'll be taking you through a lesson, some examples, and then as always, we'll finish up with a practice exercise and some answers taken up at the end. Let's get started. Right here, you've got the simple interest formula, but I hate it when somebody gives me a formula and I don't know where it comes from, what it means, or what to do with it. So will it be explaining that this lesson? First of all, what is simple interest? Now, if you are the investor and you don't need to be any kind of professional to do this, you just need to be somebody who has some money that they're not going to spend for a while. You can negotiate with the bank to set that money aside in a guaranteed investment. Now, that means that you can ask the bank to pay you interest on the money that you leave there in the bank. And you deserve that interest because your money doesn't just sit there. The bank takes that money and they play around with it. They invest it in different businesses. They lend it to people who need to borrow money and they earn money off your money. But you don't get very much money this way because it's a safe investment. That is, you will always get the original amount back, but you also get a little extra. You'll be paid a percentage of your original investment for every term of your investment. So the longer you leave your money there with the bank, the more money you can earn in interest. On the other hand, if you are the borrower, that is, you need money and you don't have enough of your own, you can borrow money from the bank or another lender, but be careful who you borrow from. You must agree to pay that money back, but also with a percentage of interest. That is, a percent of your original amount more that you need to pay back because you're paying them for the service of lending you their money. Now, let's define the variables that we use to calculate our simple interest. First of all, interest itself is a profit you can earn from an investment, or it's an extra cost that you must pay back on top of the original value of a loan you may have taken out. P is a letter we use to represent the principal amount. Now, principal amount also just means the starting amount, the amount of money you invested or the amount of money that you borrowed. T stands for time or the number of terms. And it's important that you read the question very carefully here to be sure of what the T stands for. Usually we talk about T as being a number of years, but it could also be a number of months, or you might have negotiated a quarterly loan, so every quarter year, three months. It depends on the fine lines in your contract. And R represents a rate of interest. This is the percentage amount that you agree to either pay back on a loan or that the bank has agreed to pay you on your investment. Now that we've defined our variables, let's get into the formula and how we use it and how it works. Let's do that by looking at an example. So example one, if you are 13 years old and you have 4,000 euros to invest until you are 18 years old, and the bank has agreed to give you a 2.5% rate of interest per annum, Per annum means per year, and 2.5% these days is pretty good. You'll see a lot of examples where they say 5% or 7%. We can't get that anymore. So if you're watching this video in 2020 and your bank is willing to give you a 2.5% rate of interest on a guaranteed investment, that is guaranteed to get your full investment back as well as this interest, it's a really good offer right now. Right. That to the side, let's have a look at this question. Given what we're told above, let's work out how much interest you would earn in that time. Well, in what time? Let's read through this again carefully and identify our variables. We are given the P, the principal amount. That's the amount that we have to invest, and that was 4,000 euros. We are given the T, that's the amount of time or the number of terms of our investment. And we are making this investment at the age of 13. And we are willing to leave it in the bank without touching it until we are 18 years old. 18 take away 13, that's five years. And the rate of interest the bank has agreed to 
is 2.5% per year. So our time in years and our rate per year, the units of measure match up, we are good to go. What we don't know in this question is I. We don't know how much interest we will earn. Don't confuse interest with rate of interest. Interest is an amount of money, so a number of euros or dollars or pounds, whereas R is a rate of interest, so it will be a percentage. Now, how do we calculate the interest? Remember, it's a percentage of the original amount. And if we're going to leave our money in the bank for five years, we'll earn five times that percentage of the original amount. So I is equal to five times 2.5% of the 4,000 we are investing. Now, you don't need to memorize the formula in this format, but I hope you will understand the formula in this format. Interest is a percentage of an amount. And if we're going to leave that money for five years, it's five times the percentage of that amount. To simplify this a bit, remember a percent of an amount could be written as a fraction of an amount, and a fraction of an amount is a fraction multiplied by that amount. So 2.5% is the same thing as 2.5 over 100 of 4,000, so times 4,000. Now remember that when we multiply a fraction by a whole number, we only need to multiply the whole number by the top, that is by the numerator of the fraction. So setting this up, I've got 4,000 times the 5 times the 2.5. That's all being multiplied in the numerator of the fraction. And in the denominator, we have 100. This is in red because this is the general format for the formula for simple interest. I equals PTR over 100. You'll probably hear your friends or your teachers talk about simple interest using this formula. I equals PTR over 100. But I want you to see where we got this formula from so that it's not such a mystery to you. Remember that the rate of interest was some value over 100. And we multiplied that by the principal amount to find a percent of an amount. We multiply by it. And we multiplied it by the time or number of terms because we repeatedly get that same amount for five years in this case. So simplifying that, 4,000 times 5 times 2.5 gives us 50,000 over 100, which is 500 euros interest. And that's great. 500 euros for basically doing nothing. You've invested your money in the bank, but you didn't have to do anything with it. You just had to leave it there. And five years later, you got 500 euros. Now, don't expect to get rich this way. This is not a get rich fast scheme by any means. What you might avoid, however, is suffering from inflation. That's over time, the prices of things change. And although you had 4,000 euros in the bank when you were 13, that 4,000 euros can't afford to buy the same things it used to afford. So this interest has helped you keep up with the times. Now, how much will your investment be worth when you turn 18? Some people worry, they see this answer here, 500 euros, and they think, I've lost money, I've lost 3,500. No, this is your profit. When you turn 18, you get your whole principal value back. If this is a guaranteed investment, always check the fine print. Plus, you get your interest. So when you turn 18, you should have 4,000 plus the 500 interest, which is 4,500 euros. Not bad. Let's try another example here. This time we're taking out a loan. So that is, we are borrowing money, which we will need to pay back. You want to buy a scooter, but you are 500 euros short on money. You negotiate a seven-month loan with your bank, and they offer you a 1% monthly rate of interest. Now be careful because 1% doesn't sound like much, but this is a monthly rate of interest, not a yearly rate of interest. How much would that be yearly? There are 12 months in a year, so 1% for each of those months, that would be 12% in a year. And that's starting to sound quite high, so read the fine print very carefully. Let's work out how much interest you will need to pay back on this bank loan. 
Again, let's start by setting out our variables and be very clear about the units of measure we're talking about here. Given the principal amount was 500 euros, the time is seven months, and our rate is 1% per month. So those units of measure do match up. Seven months and 1% per month. What we need to work out is the interest. And remember our formula is I is equal to PTR over 100. Well, let's start again based on our general knowledge of how you work out interest. It is a percentage of the principal amount and we repeatedly pay back that percentage for the amount of terms that we borrow that money. So for seven months, for seven terms, I equals seven times 1% of the 500 euros we're borrowing. To work out a percentage of an amount, we'll write it over 100 and we'll multiply by that fraction. And remember when we multiply by a fraction, we just need to multiply by the numerator. So I've got 500 times seven times one, that's the principal, the time, and the rate, PTR over 100, which will give me 3,500 over 100, which is 35 euros interest. So in a seven month period, I've borrowed 500 euros, but I'm going to need to pay back 35 euros more than what I borrowed. So how much will I need to pay back in total? I'll need to pay back the 500 plus the 35. I need to pay back 535 euros. Let's get started with some practice. So find the interest earned in the following investment amounts. Don't forget to first set out your given values. So to find your variables, what's your principal, what's your time, what's your rate, and find your interest. A, here you are investing 6,000 at a rate of 5% per year for seven years. So P is 6,000. R is 5 and T is 7. Here you're investing 7,500 at an 8% rate of interest per annum per year for 10 years. C, you're investing 10,500 at a rate of 8% interest per annum per year for 5 years. And D, a little bit more difficult this time. You're investing 25,000 at a rate of 7% interest per annum, that's per year, but this is for 18 months. You're gonna want to do some kind of conversion there. And I would recommend figuring out what fraction of a year is 18 months. Go ahead and hit pause and give that a go. And the answers will come up in just a minute. I hope you've had a chance to hit pause. Here come your answers. Next, let's have a look at some more simple interest word problems this time. Watch out for the wording of these questions. Read them carefully. First, John has 5,000 to invest. The bank will pay John 6% interest on his money, and that's an awesome interest rate, by the way. How much interest can John earn after five years? How much interest? Now that's there in a different color. I wonder why. Number two, Jennifer invests 80,000 in a simple interest account, which pays 8% per awesome interest rate there for three years. What is her total investment return at the end of three years. Now, why is that in blue? Total investment return compared with John's interest. Hmm. Question three. Roslyn's account pays her 5% per year interest, which is paid quarterly. If she invests $8,250, how much interest is she paid per quarter, per quarter. That's not per year, per quarter. And her interest rate is per year. Hmm, 
have a think about that. Hit pause, give it a go, and answers are coming up in just a minute. I hope you had a chance to hit pause. Here come your answers. 1,500 in interest. That's a lot of interest in just five years. 99,200, but this is the total investment return. That's the principal plus the interest. And Roslyn gets $103.13. That was rounded to two decimal places because money is always given to two decimal places. And it doesn't seem like much because this is per quarter, a quarter of a year. So for your time, you should have put in 0.25. Now I hope that you found this lesson and practice helpful. If I've left anything unclear, please feel free to comment and I'll try to clear that up for you. Otherwise, keep practicing and stay tuned for our next lesson on reversing the simple interest formula. See you there.